Michael Mack. Now the search is on for Singapore's next singing superstar. I thought you were going to sing it. Come on, <laughs> sing us a line, good boy. We have a guest who could possibly sing it, but not me. You don't want to hear me sing it. <laughs> Mediacorp is looking for the final one in its new reality singing competition, which uh, premieres tonight on Channel 5. Over the next 17 weeks, 40 hopefuls will go through a test of showmanship and vocal prowess. The last contestant standing walks away with 50000 Singapore dollars in cash and a recording contract worth the same. For insights on how this competition looks to groom the next star, we have uh, two of its judges with us. Music industry veteran Ken Lim and Taufik Batisa, also Singapore's first uh, Singapore Idol. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's get a crack. Give us the, the lowdown on the show first, Ken. I mean, uh, really, what are we looking for here in terms of talent? Well, of course, we're looking for someone that's very special, you know, able to break into the local foray of the industry. And more importantly, I think, uh, be the next biggest thing. Mm. Okay. Well, how is it different to other singing competitions we've had? We reality TV shows as well. Well, the thing here is most reality television shows uh, focuses on vocals. Mm. I think uh, the final one works on the entire package. Okay. Uh, through the series, you will see contestants being groomed, um, understanding the importance of imaging, social media promotion, okay. you know, and, and stuff like that. Because in this day and age, it is very important, isn't it? You can't, or can you, just get away with your musical talent to bring you success? Well, the thing is, um, I don't think that is good enough. Uh, these days, you have to have your individual style mm. in order to make it. You know, it's I mean, it's, it's a different it's a different right. game altogether. Yeah. Well, Taufik, you've been there, done that, uh, yeah. so to speak. I mean, so tell us that. And you are this time one of the judges. Do these uh, new talents really require the full package and that little special something? Um, for me, I feel uh, raw talent is really important. It's going to go a long way. But uh, with a lot of nurture, um, providing the right tools for them to be able to use to improve on their skills, they're going to go a longer way. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel the contestants that we've heard so far, mm -hmm. they're amazing. And they're going to do even better with uh, some help from the judges, mm -hmm. from our mentoring. And um, the final one is going to be a contest that everybody's going to enjoy. But let me ask you this question, both of you. I mean, so how much of it needs to be a good voice, as in they can actually sing, and how much of it can be the other aspects of the package? I mean, so how much weightage is there? Can a not-so-great singer be a great entertainer? Well, it, it really depends on, on what you're looking at because, you know, you have to make up for whatever you like, mm. right? What's important is that people like you. You know, you can be basically having a social voice, but if you look really good, chances are you have a probability, mm. a very high probability of making it, you see? Mm. But uh, if you have a terrible voice and you look very good, of course, you're a total write-off, right? Mm. right. Mm. So, yeah. Now, can you came up with the idea for this show because you think that there's a lack of talent there in Singapore that can make it international? Is that correct? I wouldn't say that there's a lack of talent. You know, I, I think the question here is uh, we need more platforms for, for these musicians to, to actually display what they have and, and opportunities for them to actually show off their skills, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think we lack that, not lack of talent, you know? Okay. Yeah. Because I've always felt uh, in Singapore we have... Uh, with an amazing pool of talents and it's just that they don't have the right platform for them to really shine and the final one is a perfect perfect platform okay. for them to do just that. But besides that I mean because you, you again you know when after you won Singapore Idol it's been a few years and yeah. you know was it tough going to sort of make it in the, the music industry? Um, it is it is um, uh, one thing that Ken always tells me uh, you have to keep improving you have to keep reinventing yourself to remain relevant in the industry because with in this day and age with social media, with the internet, uh, you know, there's a star born every other day. Yeah. So what makes you relevant? Mm -hmm. So that is what you have to battle with every day to keep improving yourself, to keep doing better than what you did previously. Okay, right. well, what um, advice do you have for budding musicians? Because not, of, not everyone can enter such competitions and also gain success out of that. So to keep the uh, music industry alive here in Singapore, what other platforms are there? Okay, first, let me get this right. I mean, um, you, you have a competition like that, but that does not mean you have made it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. you, you just, you are seen and you go through that process. I think after you have won a competition like that or have taken part in a competition like that, you have to reinvent yourself, mm -hmm. go through the process, most importantly, understand how the business works. I mean, like Taufik, it took him eight years to be where he is today. Mm -hmm. It's not just about winning the competition, it's about understanding how the business works. So that's where I, I feel... Uh, you know, 
our local industry needs to look into these important guidance you know and opportunities rather than just hoping that you put up a video on YouTube and, and be discovered because that at the end of the day will not yeah is not enough for you to survive in the business so it's just a step in the process okay, okay. now yes. now we're gonna ask you about the judging uh, and all the judges there are three of you uh, kit as well so uh, who plays good guy bad guy is there a <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I, I think my objectives are very clear is to say it as how I see it, you know. Um, I, I don't know, but many people do not realize that, you know, your, your finest moments are when you're disappointed and when you're down. Mm -hmm. Only then you can actually propel yourself to greater heights, right? Plus, um, plus it also prepares you for the industry because that is how the industry oh yes, works. Oh yes, you definitely. You exactly. honestly, yeah, exactly. um, yeah. very quickly whether you're good right. enough, yes, right? Yes, yes. What, what Ken says is exactly right. Uh, I remember when I was in a competition uh, as such, when he gives me uh, tough criticisms, what it, what I do with it, because certain people might, might take it differently, what I do with it, I use it as a fuel to do better the next time. And I, I use it to reinvent myself, to, to figure myself out so that I can do better on my next performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So it's quite clear Ken's there to depress and demoralize each contestant. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to provide the, <laughs> the smile to the contestants. Now I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm going to be like a big brother to the contestants because I know exactly what they're going through mm. and I hope I can provide my own perspective of what I went through and hopefully it will help them uh, go through the contest uh, a lot easier, be a lot more mm. prepared and of course a lot less nervous when they mm. perform. Mm. And cope with the pressure mm. as well. And, yeah. and I'm there to entertain them actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lady uh, also as well with the kid chat. I mean, she, she's yeah. the, the how, what's her role in that sense? Have you all um, I would say she's like a, like a sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's yeah. 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 yeah, given her experience, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay. And we look forward very much to the competition and seeing yes. how it pans out as well. Yes. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. Thank you.